Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to generate buildings easily for free in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. In order to create building easily, we're gonna use Buildify 1.0 Geometry Node Library. I will share the download link in the video description. Make sure to use Blender 3.2 or upper versions, older versions are not supported. If you want to download for free, type 0 in this box. Or, you can pay for it to support the author. Then, click on the I want this. Enter your email address, and click on the get button. Then, click on the view content button, and download the Blender file. You can also download Buildify 1.0 guide as PDF format. Let's open the Blender file we have just downloaded. First of all, save as your new Blender file. So, we can keep our original Blender file. Close the top left window, we don't need it. In the top window, we can see default building. Press C key and switch to material preview mode. Let's click on the modifier tab. There is a geometry node modifier here. Click on the TV icon to disable the modifier in the viewport. As you can see, this modifier only changes a simple plane. The other objects are different modules of the building. All of them are in the modules collection. We can also disable this collection in the viewport. Let's select the plane and press tab key to switch to edit mode. Switch to edge selection mode, and select this edge. Hit the E key, then Y key to extrude the edge on the Y axis. Select this edge, extrude the edge on the X axis. Press shift Control B, and bevel the vertices. Now, enable the geometry node modifier again. As you can see, the building has been generated based on the new shape. That's super cool thing. We can also change the number of floor. To do that, we need to change minimum and maximum number of floor values. In the bottom window, we can see geometry nodes belong to building. Press Ctrl spacebar to display the full window. Currently the system contains three main node groups which are walls, flat roof, and wall props. In order to see any node group details, select the node, and press tab key. Press tab key again to come back. Press control spacebar again to exit full screen. We can generate different buildings by changing the node parameters. For example, we can change the details density in the flat roof node. We can remove the top trim. We can change the seed value in the middle floor node, so we can have randomized window placement. We can also change wall props density. So, we can have different amount satellite, air vents, and street signs. The building consists of four modules. Ground floor, middle floor, top trim, and flat roof. We can see these modules in the Outliner Editor. Each module has own models. Let's disable the Geometry Node modifier in the viewport. We can select any model in the Outliner Editor. Or, we can select any model in the viewport. Let's say we want to change the color of the wall. Select the middle floor wall, click on the Material Properties tab, and change the base color. Select the plane, Click on the Modifier tab, and enable the Geometry Node modifier again. That's it. In the same way, 
we can change the color of other modules. We can also use own models in the Buildify geometry nodes. To do that, we need to replace the models with existing models. Let's disable the modifier in the viewport, and select the middle floor too. Move the model in front of the other models. We can see this model in the middle walls collection. Go to File menu, append the model into Blender. Firstly, press Ctrl A, and apply rotation and scale transforms. Then, we need to move the origin point to bottom. To do this, go to Options menu, enable the origins. So, we can only move the origins of objects. Move down the origin point of the model. The origin point should be at the same point with the original wall. Select the original wall. Disable the origin option again. Click on the object properties tab, press Ctrl C and copy the name of the original wall. Let's delete the original wall, and select the new wall. Press Ctrl V to paste the name. Right click, and move the new wall to middle floor walls collection. We can also drag and drop the model into the collection in the outliner editor. Select the plane, Enable the geometry nodes again. That's it. If you have gap between the modules, you can decrease the module height value a little bit. If you want to generate different buildings, you can go to Quixel.com, and download any assets. You can download them for free to be used inside Unreal Engine. Otherwise, you need to pay for them to be used inside any other project. You can design your own building base, and apply the Buildify modifier. Don't forget to apply rotation and scale transforms. Then, go to Modifier tab, and add Geometry Node Modifier. Click on the New button to add new Geometry Node. Choose the Building Nodes from drop-down menu. That's it. We can also duplicate the Any Building by pressing Shift-D. We can change the number of floor independently. But, when we try to change node parameters, all buildings are affected at the same time. Because, they use the same geometry nodes. In order to make them independent, we need to click on the 3 button. It means, this geometry node data is used by 3 users. Then, Select the other building, and click on the 2 button. So, we will have 3 buildings which they have different nodes. Now, we can change the node parameters independently, and generate different buildings. If you want to give different colors to buildings, we need to duplicate the modules collection. Go to Outliner Editor. Select the Modules Collection, right-click, and duplicate the collection. Now, we have new collection named Module 001. Select the building you want to change the wall color. Go to Middle Floor node, change the collection to Middle Floor Wall 001. Go to Middle Floor Wall 001 collection in the Outliner Editor, 
select the middle floor wall 3. Click on the Material Properties tab, and change the base color. As you can see, all buildings color changes at the same time. Because, they use the same material. Click on the 4 button, and make the materials independent. Then, change the base color again. That's it. In the same way, you can change the color of other modules. We can use Buildify 1.0 with Blender OSM add-on. So, we can build a city easily. Firstly, download the add-on for free. Install the add-on. Enable the add-on, and choose a directory to store downloaded street maps. Hit the N key to open the right panel. Click on the OSM tab. Click on the Select button to choose any location on the map. Zoom in any area you want. Click on the Show Selection Rectangle. We can adjust the selection rectangle. Then, click on the Copy button, and copy the coordinates. Go back to Blender, and paste the coordinates. Switch the importing data to 2D. Uncheck the water objects, forests, and other vegetation. Choose the Buildify 1.0 Blender file. Switch the geometry node setup to building. Click on the import button, and wait for a while. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.